Hello and welcome to a new episode of Songs I Love. This is a series where I talk about some relatively new songs from Indian film music that had an impact on me. So let's jump right in. So this is a song from the recently released film uh, Vitla Visesham, which is a Tamil remake of uh, the Hindi film Badhai Ho. Uh, you know, certain songs, uh, you know, they have an instant appeal factor, right? It takes very little effort to be enamored by them. Uh, and in my case, I find that this is uh, especially true of songs based on classical ragas or classical song, uh, classical scales, right? Uh, so this is uh, definitely one such uh, song for me. So, I mean, especially for those of us who thrive on the nostalgia of the, you know, old world uh, classical raga based or scale based songs, you know, this, this song is sure to strike a chord, right? So, um, the raga of the song should definitely be very familiar, right? Um, even if you're not familiar with raga names, uh, it should be fairly obvious uh, what other, you know, older songs this song is similar to, right? So, for instance, there's Tendral uh, Vandi Ennai Todum. So, the name of the scale that the song is based on is Saranga Tarangini, um, as, uh, as is the case with a lot of these other songs that I mentioned. Uh, Saranga Tarangini is a very close cousin of Hamsanadam. So, Hamsanadam would be Saranga Tarangini, on the other hand, would be So, if you add that higher da, to the scale of Hamsanadam, it becomes Saranga Tarangini. Uh, another close raga is Shuddha Sarang. Uh, I think the main uh, difference would be uh, the presence of the lower Ma. Right? So, Anyway, coming back to this particular song, this is definitely mostly in um, Saranga Tarangini. So, of course, another uh, very famous and really beautiful song uh, in this scale is Isayil Thodangadamma from Hey Ram, right? Isayil Thodangadamma Pirahanadagami Right? And another interesting similarity between Isayil and this song is that they are based on the same tala or the you know rhythm cycle. They are both based on the seven beat cycle, right? Um, now, what I really like about the song is that despite such a formidable precedence, right? There's so many such uh, popular you know well-known songs in this raga. It's a very popular raga, uh, but despite that, I think this song holds its own. You know. Uh, it's not super novel or experimental or innovative. Uh, it sounds fairly familiar, you know, it fits that classical uh, film, classical music based film songs mold. Uh, and yet it's, you know, within that framework, it, it's quite unique, right? Uh, and of course, what really makes it extra special is the singing. Uh, the singers, the male singer is Jairam and a female singer is, of course, you know, the uh, lovely one and only Bombay Jayashree. 
uh, I didn't play the uh, the f the female parts of the song yet, uh, and I'll I'll do so in in a bit. I'll play some of some of the female lines in a bit. So the singing is is really so beautiful, right? Especially those classical flourishes that keep coming in and out, the the alaps and the sargams, uh, so well done. So the whole package, you know, it it, it just sounds uh, really well done, and everything just fits. I I, f I find this to be a very organic, uh, you know, composition that's come together very beautifully. So. The overall raga or scale of the song apart, uh, there are two points in the song uh, that I find interesting. So let me play them one by one and then uh, say something about it. So that's of course in the voice of uh, the inimitable Bombay Jayashree, which should have been obvious. Um, so it goes. <laughs> now that seems to really blend in very nicely with the rest of the song, right? Um, if you heard that as uh, just part of this Pamsanadam or Sarangatarangini scale, um, then sure, yeah, that makes that makes complete sense. Uh, but if you really hear intently and if you think a little bit uh, more about it, you will see a possibility of a Grahabedam going on there, right? Now, the Grahabedam is not very overtly done here, it does not leap out at you. So, if it is not obvious to you, th you know, it is very subjective, right? So, if you if you still continue to hear it as Hamsanadam, that is, you know, perfectly legitimate. So, if you heard it as so that would be hamsanadam so that particular line doesn't make use of the da so it's just the five notes of hamsanadam but if you heard it as gama pa 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 ni pa pa ma ga gama pa 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 ni pa ni sa so that would be gambiranate right so hamsanadam and gambiranate are grabedams of each other so if you took the sa of hamsanadam as the lower ma you get gambiranate Right? So, very fleetingly, uh, you know, kind of um, it, th those lines r sound like Gambiranate. Uh, the second interesting thing I want to mention is as follows. So, it should be quite obvious that there is a raga change going on there, right? So, there is the introduction of a new note there, which is a lower ga. Right? Very beautiful sarangi there in that. I think the second interlude of the song. Uh, and that continues in the vocal lines that follow as well. Right? Now, Hamsanadam, as I said, is does not have the ga, right? So, technically, it could be a janyam of either uh, uh, the Sampurna raga with the higher ga or the lower ga. So, higher ga would make it Kalyani. If you had the lower ga, that would make it dharmavati. So that's what this, that's what we hear here in this song, right? Now the whole mood, the whole flavor changes with the introduction of that ga, right? Sarangatarangani is this very, you know, sprightly, uh, uh, you know, lively, happy kind of a raga. And then with the introduction of the lower ga, the mood kind of becomes a little more mellow. And it goes nicely with the mood of the song, right? So I'm sure it was intentional. Uh, if you hear the lyrics, it's like Udainda uh, Idayangal Seruma or something like that, right? So that lower ga sort of suits that mood, the the the, the sad mood uh, mood change uh, that we hear in the lyrics, right? So it goes nicely. Um, so uh, this is similar to some other pairs of ragas that I've discussed in my earlier videos. For instance, uh, Nalina Kanti and Sarasangi. 
और सरस्वती एंड हेमवती और गंभीर नाटे एंड माया मालव गौला राइट सो इन ऑल दीज पेयर ऑफ रागाज द फर्स्ट रागा नोट्स आर अ सबसेट ऑफ द नोट्स ऑफ द सेकेंड रागा विच इज अ मेल करता एंड सो वेन अ सॉन्ग इज लार्जली इन अज वन ऑफ दीज जन्य रागाज एंड दीज अदर अन्य स्वराज और एक्स्ट्रा नोट्स आर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड यू नो it it's it's very interesting to hear right when the the mood uh, changes so and of course again in this song uh, after those lines it goes back to the sarangatarangini uh, domain so there again it goes back uh, to uh, you know the refrain and and therefore to sarangatarangini so uh, that was it about this song and this episode of songs i love thank you for watching and let me know in the comments what you thought